If you are watching us this morning and you are suffering from back pain, I'm sure you're looking for a way to ease that and probably you're hoping to find that relief without having to go through a surgery. Well, we're very happy this morning to welcome to the show the newest member of Center for Sports Medicine, Dr. Kyle Kessler. And yes, he is an orthopedic surgeon, but he does really enjoy finding ways to avoid uh, going under the knife at all possible costs. So good to see you. Absolutely. Thank you for having me on. And welcome to town. Well, I appreciate it. Happy to be here. Um, so you've moved here. You were in Louisville. Yep. Was in Louisville, Kentucky. And just uh, moved on is that down where here. you were doing your fellowship? Yep. So we just finished up a spine specific fellowship there with a big training group that's there and then getting started down here in Chattanooga. For people who are not aware of, I mean, most people hear about physicians going through their fellowship, sure. but you don't always know the importance of choosing the right one. I that fellowship is what gives you your true specialty, right? For sure. So this fellowship is kind of the last year of this training. Once you go through all these years, that's the year that kind of hones you in to exactly what you're going to be doing. So people try to pick a fellowship that guides them towards a career path of what they want their practice to look like and kind of what they want to offer to the community around them. Okay, but I think that's also good to point out because that means that up until that fellowship time, you're learning, you knew you wanted to go into orthopedics, sure. right, and yep. into surgery. Yep. It's just that this fine-tuned you for those patients who come your way for spine. Perfect, yep, exactly. Okay, uh, then I'm sure when you were choosing Center for Sports Medicine, part of the appeal is where you fine-tune the spine, another doctor in the practice fine-tuned elbow and et cetera, et cetera, so y'all can do everything under one roof. Correct, I mean, that's the idea. We try to take care from the orthopedics perspective of it, we wanna take care of everything. So I kind of bring the spine piece, I have partners that replace hips, knees, treat elbow problems, and we kind of all work together because there's a lot of overlap in these mm -hmm. fields. Okay, let's talk about that overlap because maybe I'm right and maybe I'm wrong. That kind of then marries into the non-surgical options you find um, to help people decompression, for example, okay. because the problem might originate in the spine, mm -hmm but the pain is felt somewhere else. Absolutely, so there's kind of big categories. Someone might come in with pain like low back, this hip type of area. They might have a hip problem, they might have a back problem, they might have a problem with their hamstrings. So we kind of get them into one of those categories. And if it falls into the spine side of things, we have a whole spine team that's geared as everything from physical therapists that specialize in spine-specific physical therapy. Not just go to physical therapy and try to get stronger. This is geared exactly towards what's going on with their spine. Okay. We have people that don't operate on the spine that are doing some of the non-operative things, trying to avoid surgery. But if we get to an option to where someone needs surgery, we have the surgical side of that to take care of spine problems that direction. When you're dealing, I mean, and I know within spine related pain, yeah. there are all types of causes. I sure. mean, there are herniated discs and you talk about something called a compressive bone spur. What yeah. is that? So basically your bones don't know what's going on. As they wear out, the only thing they know to do to prevent a problem is to grow more bone, which works okay. great if you have a broken arm. There's a problem, it grows more bone, your arm heals. In your spine, if something's wearing out, the last thing you want it to do is start growing more bone. There's little holes in your spine where all those nerves exit, and if it starts growing more bones, that bone just starts pushing on the nerves. That's when people have oh. sciatica, things shooting down their legs, shooting down their arm. That's usually the cause of it. Okay, so when you, and that can be treated non-operatively? Absolutely. Really? So there's a variety of non-operative things we can do to get the spine into better alignment, to decompress those nerves. Okay. There's injections that we can do that get those nerves to kind of quiet down and be able to fit through where they need to pass. And then if we get to a point that those things didn't work, aren't working anymore. There's some very simple, simple surgical options to go in and just clean that bone out around the nerves and people are back to doing what they want to do. Okay, so when you are dealing with something though like this and you're trying to avoid the surgery, so whether sure. you go through decompression or the physical therapy you talk about, is it possible for that problem to completely be healed or is it just being relieved? I don't know if healed's the correct term because we're not going to turn back the clock. Most okay. of these problems are what they are, but we can usually get people to where a point where they're carrying their spine in a position that opens those spaces where things need to go. We can get people doing injections so that things aren't swollen and can pass where they need to. So we can get people years after these types of treatments. I watched you just a second ago and when you mentioned that we can get people to where they need to be, you did like this, yes. right? But every time you're having a posture conversation, yeah. you'll straighten up. Yep. Is that a good starting point for all of us to remember to sit and stand correctly? So this is something I probably get overly excited about. Oh, I'm, really? in, I'm in the spine world, but there's this concept called the cone of balance. So your body wants to stay upright. If your body's upright, if your knees are extended, your back's arched the way it needs to, your head is up, 
it takes almost no effort to stand up. You could stand for hours. You start losing that posture, you're leaning forward, you're slouching down, you're hanging, you're now just sitting on the force of your muscles and it's not sustainable. Okay. It wears out your spine, the muscles give out, and that's why your great grandma, when you would go to visit her, she wasn't staring at you, she was staring at her feet. Right. So if you can prevent those things early and keep your spine within that, they call it the cone of balance, okay. you can prevent a lot of these problems. And that's what we gear a lot of our treatment towards doing. Okay, so you will find him at the Macaulay Avenue location, as you know quite well with Center for Sports Medicine. They're all over town. You also have a partner in Cleveland yes. uh, who's doing this very same thing. But if you want to find Dr. Kessler and talk to him, he's also an avid mountain biker, I've just learned. So We're just learning. He's taking advantage of Chattanooga now that he's here. But you'll find him at Center for Sports Medicine medicine on Macaulay. That number is 624-2696. As you go through your day, shoulders back, head up, eyes held straight, the cone of balance cone is of what balance. we're after. Thank you. You got it.